the All Powers S700. Let's check it out. Hi guys, today we're going to look at the All Powers S700. This is uh, pretty small but pretty mighty. The 700 stands for the inverter size, so it will do continuous 700 watts with a peak of 1400 watts. First of all, I'd like to thank the good folks over at All Powers for sending this, this and a 100 watt solar panel to review and just let you guys know what it's all about. Now, first of all, it came packaged in this box here. Oh, you like how I threw it? Well, let me show you the box that was inside. So if you look at this corner here, it looked like it got dropped on there, but no fear. There's like an inch, inch and a half of foam all the way around this whole unit. So it came and it was not, there's no injury to this unit at all. Okay, just thought I'd do that for dramatic stuff. Okay, in the box, you get this. I got a 100 watt solar panel. I'll show that to you later. You get this, and what this is, is the charging brick. Okay. And the cord that goes in the end over here. That's one of them, though. Now, that comes with it. They also sent me this box, which had this charger. This looks like a charger that would be for your computer or something. It's a 60 watt charger. The the cool thing about this, if you would need to charge this thing really fast, you can actually plug this one in and this one in and it will charge faster. Actually, let's cut to a clip of that, of how it works. Okay guys, right now I've got the first AC hooked up, the, uh, the brick that I showed you that it comes with, the one that actually comes with the unit, and we're seeing 108 watts in right now. Now I'm gonna hook up this USB to the right side of it and watch the, watch the uh, wattage go up on this thing. So 125, 135, 151, 158, 165, or almost 180. And now we're at some 179 to 180 there, it looks like. So this thing can charge really fast. So the, uh, like I said, this is a 700 watt inverter in this with a 1400 watt surge. It's a 606 watt hour battery, which works out to a 50.5 amp hour battery. It's a lithium ion, okay? So that's why it's smaller and lighter. With the dual charge that I showed you earlier, it, it, it will charge from zero to 80% in 1.5 hours. And that's pretty accurate. From what, I, from what I saw. This, this unit did come to me with zero charge on it. I contacted them. They told me a way to reset it. <clears throat> I did notice that somebody else got the same thing on another review and I charged it up and it seems to be fine. Now it has six different ways to recharge the, the unit and we'll get into all that later. You have nine outputs on this thing on the sides and the front to charge various devices. Uh, some battery and some 110 electric. This has an MPPT solar controller. The solar controller will take 100 watts of solar, so that's why the 100 watt solar panel that they sent. I mean, you probably won't ever get 100. I did get uh, up to 90 off of it, 90 something one time, but uh, that was for a brief minute. But that's, I said, that's normal. There's also an app for this that you can run off of your phone, and it's a free app that you can go into the app store. They have a little barcode that you can use your phone and it takes you right to it. And pretty easy to use, and we'll show that also. Now, if you notice the 110s up here, these will come for the region that you buy this in. If you're in Australia or the UK, it'll come with the, the correct plug for your, for your country or region. All right, let's go do some testing now. All right, guys, let's try a few of the, um, the charge ports in this thing and see how it works. I've got my laptop here, I've got my cell phone. My cell phone's already charged, but it'll still show us that it wants to charge it, okay? So let's just start with the laptop first. I have the, I have the app on. Let me click it on, make sure it stays up. And I've got the AC on already, all right? So I'm gonna plug this in here. And then I'm gonna plug this into my laptop. 
Now if you guys watch this, it should come up on the screen if you can see it, hopefully. I'll try to blow it up for you guys. So it shows it shows 45 watts that it's putting out right now. Okay? So that and then it says it says runtime, remaining time is eight hours and thirty. 30 minutes, eight and a half hours. And that is if it stays at this rate for that long a time. It'll charge this up way before that, so you'll still have battery left over, okay? Let's just pull it off, um, plug it down here, then I'll pull this out. And it's still showing 100% charged, okay? If you guys can see that up on the, on the deal there. While we have the AC going, let's just do this. I've got one of these chargers for my iPhone. I kind of like this because when you hook it to your phone, you can move your phone around. All right, I'm going to uh, I'm going to turn the app off for now for this part. Turn my phone off, and so I'm going to hook it into the electric anyhow. We'll try there first, and it's a mag mount, guys. On the back here, it's got a, a spot for it to hit. But I'll turn it towards you guys, and we're going to click it on. We'll get see if this will focus, and I turn my I'm going to turn it off. So, so we click it on. It comes on. It says 100% charged, but that's because it is. But it it will charge it. So that's that's a good that's a win. All right. So let's let's take that off. We'll pull that out. Now this charger also has a USB-C, and remember it has a USB-C on the side that's in and out, and this would be out. All right. This has a USB-C charge port on, so we have the in and out on the side here. So I'm going to plug that in and turn my DC on. And now I'm going to click it to the back of my, or magnetize it to the back of my phone. And there it came on. It says 100% charged, but it would try to charge it. If my, if my battery was down on my phone, it would charge it. So that's another win-win, guys. Pretty easy. I really like this, this because I can take my phone and I can do all kinds of stuff with it while it's charging. And it doesn't fall out the bottom. You guys, I'm, I'll put a link to this, guys, if you're interested in it. The, the case, the charger. And it's a two-way charger, basically, as you saw. And if you guys are interested in it, it'll be in the description. Just in case you guys are. Remember, 700 watts continuous. So if you have like a small, like a really small coffee maker um, that's under 700 watts, it'll, it'll run that with no problem. Now, the more you use it, the more you're going to run the battery down. Now, when you do use this, if you have the choice of 110 or 12 volt, you always do 12 volt because it takes energy to run the inverter. Okay, that may, I hope that makes sense. So running the inverter takes energy to use, to put energy out to your product or your, whatever your device is. Now let's go look at the solar hookup that I set up for this. It's the 100 watt solar panel from them. If you, most of the times this will come in a package. The price is pretty good as a package, guys, compared to a lot of companies that sell their solar panels cost almost as much as this this whole unit as a package cost. Now when you do get the solar panel, it comes with the charging ports that plug into the side of this. Actually you get two that will work with this and will also work with other uh, power units of this style. Okay guys, there's how I have the uh, solar panels and I'm using the supports that I showed you earlier on the back of them to hold them up and it's a pretty good angle. We're getting almost full power out of them. And then on the back here, the, you get the two power leads that come out, connectors there, and then the two wire, the, the wire it came with to, to hook it to the unit. Okay, as you can see here, guys, the input side here, I've got the power poles, and that's what I'm putting in for the solar power, and that's the input there. You also have another input here, and I think, I'm not sure, but the... Uh, the solar panel actually did come with that, that input also, so we could test that a little bit too. The solar panel comes with this power pole setup. It has the same ends on it to hook to it. Then it also comes with this one here, which has the barrel connector. So it comes with two different ones, and this would fit other brands. If you bought the solar panels just themselves, it would fit other brands of uh, solar generators also. All right, guys, this is the All Powers 100 watt solar panel. It's two panels, 50 each. Now, if you look at this, it's exactly the same size as their 200, except for the 200's double, double this width. So let me kind of show you what they have. Um, like the other ones, you have Velcro that holds the legs in. These legs are fairly sturdy. Uh, it did get knocked down in the wind once, but it knocked down a few things that time. On the back here, oh, 
let me show you this. This is Velcro here. This is where you open it up. Okay, and we'll open it up in a second. On the back here is the pocket that holds all the parts this comes with. So you get, I already have this one hooked up. This is the one that hooks to your MC4s and then it hooks to the, your uh, power pole for, for putting power in. And it also comes with this one, MC4s again with the barrel connector. This barrel connector fits a lot of different uh, other power units. So if you bought this and you already had a power unit, it would probably work with yours. Because it also comes with these adapters, guys. All right, let me put all this back inside. Zip it up. There's probably a room in the pocket, guys, for even more things if you needed to store other parts. So you had to fix up something special for your own setup. All right, so we're gonna pull that. And then it just folds open like this, guys. Just like the all, most of the other ones on the market. All right, guys, so, so nice, um, nice size, not too big, not too small. And it did seem to put out the rated power because most of these, if it says 100, you're, you're lucky to get 80, depending on your sun for the day. If, you, if you're overcast or smoke in the air because of fires, you know, we have that a lot around here. So sometimes it's hard for me to get a full, a full 100 out of these things. Okay, these are your three USB-A's. They're five volt, three amps. This is a USB-C. Now the USB-C goes in and out. So in is 60 watts max in input and max output is 100 watts, all right? So these are 5.5 .5 by 2.5 barrel connectors. They are good for 12 volts, five amps. Okay, this is your DC, like a cigarette lighter. And that is 12 volts to 13, six volts, 10 amps. So that would probably run like uh, a small radio if you needed to. Now, um, I think as long as you don't have the inverter, this thing should be pretty quiet as far as HF noise. Now we have vents everywhere, up and down on the sides and top there. There's a little bit right here. Show that to you. Actually, that's not vents, that's just styling. On the other side here, we have uh, more, more vents here and more vents up here. Now, one thing I did see, the bottom is enclosed on this one. I did see a, an earlier model it has all the specs down here, guys. I did see an earlier model that uh, it had holes in the bottom. And if, if you have one like that, you don't want to set it on any like dirt or sand, anything that will suck up into that fan. Okay, guys. Okay, the handle comes up and holds it. It's pretty comfortable. It's got this orange part here. This right here is uh, kind of a silicone it's really got a nice comfort to it when you push it down it locks into the side of this so this handle doesn't flop around at all and it is flat on the top here I mean, everything must be i think got a fire around here got ashes going right everywhere so you can stack another one on top of this very easily okay guys it's all in all really nice compact this thing is really small for the size guys this uh has bluetooth that you can go to your phone and you can control everything from there. So I'm showing this right now. So watts right now is right here. That's 80 watts in from the 100 watt panel. That's pretty good. Uh, I saw it right like at 98 one time. Shows 25% up here. So that's on. I doubt you guys can see that at all. I will say one of the things I would suggest if, if all powers could fix anything, it'd make that screen just a little brighter, especially outside at night inside the house or something when it's dark. It's fine, but there's the, uh, you can control everything from this um, app. You, if you look hard, you can see in there. Let me see if I can bring it in on the camera just a little better. There you go. You kind of can see it there. Let me touch the phone again. Okay, from the app though, I really haven't, I'm just looking at it with you guys right now to tell you the truth. Um, you can turn on things. So we can turn the DC ports on. See it come on. All right. We can turn the AC on. There we go. You guys can probably hear the fan in the background there just a little bit. All right. So I will turn those both off. 
and, and you can like if you were I don't know what the range is but I could walk quite a ways away probably and still see what the uh, solar panel is getting for power and if it's how far it's charged so if you were like in your house and you just wanted to check on it you could probably do it from you know from the doorway or something so here's the LED lights you can turn those on they're pretty bright uh, we have 80 hours 19 minutes uh, three days and eight hours uh, that's the runtime remaining but that's hooked up right now and there's no load on it so that's a little that's a little misleading the green light here uh, actually shows your um, your Bluetooth is on and you can take these lights and you can turn them on separately also so that'd be great if you're at a campsite and you just need to light up a table or something you can turn one or two of those on you've got your 110s up here all right okay guys I just wanted to say also that I did uh, charge that laptop all the way up it was around 40 to 50 percent uncharged and uh, when I got done, the all powers unit still said uh, 100%. So like I told you, that's an ongoing thing. So it'll, rec it'll recalculate how much time is left for the battery. Uh, all in all, this is a really nice unit, guys. It's really small and compact. It does the 700 watts, you know, peaks at 1400, which a lot of these other ones won't do that. So like I said, really nice unit. Uh, so if you did get something out of the video, and hopefully you did enjoy the video, uh, please hit the like and uh, if you're new here hit the subscribe button hit the bell hit all that way you get all my future videos I'm Chuck KK6USY for Hammer Radio Adventures thank you for spending your time with me I know your time is valuable and I really do appreciate it 73 all hope to get you guys on the airways